This is Playmobello and this is pretty much the only Playmobil set that I have ever been disappointed at. And that's mostly because of the design of this ship and the lack of accessories. And I'm not just being mean. Literally, this set has no accessories at all. What you see is what you get. Three characters. And the ship looks beautiful. This is set 6678 from the year 2015. This is the main pirate ship from the whole set for that year. This is the box art. Look at that. It looks like a glorious ship. And I saw this and I bought immediately. There was also an, an awesome animated series for this whole set, pirate set and the French soldiers. If you turn to the other side, the accessories that come with the set. And that's pretty much it. Two little barrels, three characters, one cannon, and that's it. The rest is a flag and the ship. My first disappointment were the cannons. They are fake. It's just a little piece that goes like here. For someone that had that set I recently reviewed that has eight cannons, to come down to this where you have no cannons at the bottom of the ship, that was very disappointing. This part does open, the little basement here. It's nothing but a little square. See that? The good thing is the items cannot go inside the ship and get lost like it did when, on the vintage ships. But that's the only thing you can open and access from the bottom of this ship. Because the second disappointment, for me at least, is that the pirate... This is the first Playmobil ship that gives you no access to the pirate cabin. If you look here, there is a stairway up on the other side. There is also a stairway up right here. There's a compass in here, which is really cool. There's a detail right here in the middle. And then there's the top here, but no access to the pirate's cabin. These are stickers that indicate there is a cabin. This is the back of it, also with stickers. It makes you believe there's going to be a really cool looking cabin. It comes with only one cannon. Only one cannon. It has the spot on the other side. Fang here holds another cannon. This is the French soldier's cannon and then add it to it. So that's really sad that you have to go over and take the cannon from another ship. And if you have both ships, then you one of the ships doesn't have a cannon. I don't know why not just include a second cannon. Look at that. It, it helps with this ship, you know. You don't have cannons down here. You don't have the cabin. Give us another cannon, honestly. There is this cannon on the front here that adds a little bit. That's pretty cool. The only accessories you get with the set, to be honest, is two little, two little barrels. Two little barrels and the torch. The rest is just accessories that are weapons for the characters. Kind of annoying to see that the design shows a little door here and it's just fake. And you see that and you just want that to open so you can access something. And I was so mad that I unscrew these screws because it came screwed for me and I unscrewed these and I looked inside and it was really not did not have anything. A good thing is that the whole ship does have the places like right here to hold the sails. This would go right here. This cell has the little the little loop here so you can have a little line and you can hold it right here. If you want to take this plastic hook and use a line you can. And then you can tie up a line here, you can go up here, then you go over here, and then you go all the way down and you tie up here. So you can definitely use rigging on this ship, thank goodness. You see right here, there's a little loop right here for you to tie up your ship. So it looks better if you rig it up. There's a really cool looking skull on the sails here. The sails are made of pretty much plastic, I would say, very resistant. It does bear markings so be careful when you store it look at that permanent markings okay look at this uh push right here he has some cool looking uh stuff that looks like pullings and ropes he has this uh system it's a little plug that holds the cell in place as well you can switch sides you can put on this side here is the spotter he's at the top the top in here is the only spot of this ship that has a place for the legs to be 
to hold your character in place. My third disappointment were the very large screw holes. Look how large they are. They're very large holes where the whole ship uses a screw to keep the top together. And then on this side as well, I put a torch on that. The hole is so deep, you can put your torch inside. Visually, it's not good. Aesthetically, just ugly. There is this little pole here where you can hold. You can have the captain holding on the wheel here. So if you put this in the pool or in a lake, he won't fall and go down the lake where you can never retrieve it. This guy can hold on this spot here. And the third guy, the last character, can hold through his feet. He doesn't have a binocular. He doesn't have a megaphone. He doesn't have anything. If he sees something, he has to scream to his fellow pirates to let them know that he found C or something else. And that's pretty much it. That is the set. It's uh, very cool looking, very awesome. But the entire inside has just one color for the whole floor, all the ladders and stairways. It's missing a lot. It's too much like a cheap toy. With all respect to Playmobil, it's just doesn't hold on to its quality for the company. For the quality the company is with every other toy. Playmobil released like thousands of toys and this is just one bad design for a pirate ship. Just like with all other ships, you can hold on to these plastic looking like rigging ropes that you have on the sides of the whole ship. You can switch the flags any way you like. And you can have another guy holding on the top there, just like with the spotter on the other side. And these are the three characters that come with the set. I have absolutely no complaints with them. They look very unique. They look awesome, colorful, and they look like great looking pirates. This guy's swords go in the back. He has a little monkey. You can give the monkey to any of them. It could be all of them, just one. This is the main pirate captain. This is some sort of pirate, and that is the sword master with two awesome curved swords. Here are all the accessories removed. Yes, this is all you get with that ship. Entirely, mostly, all accessories for the characters. We have four projectiles, two goes to the cannon and two goes to the cannon on the ship. Don't forget the ship has a cannon in there. There is a hat for the spotter guy, a pistol, a hat for the pirate captain, two golden swords for the master of swords here. There is a sword holder for the parrot captain, he's a fat man. There is a golden sword for this man here, this pirate. And a little monkey. Also the hat for the parrot is a red bandana. Two powder barrels for the cannons. It represents uh, powder that you use on your pistols and the cannons. A little torch. Well, not much so little, it's a pretty large torch. You can have that in the back of your ship for the night time. Or you can just hold in the hands of a Playmobil. Because the set is no longer in production, it's being sold for around $100 or so, maybe sometimes more. Because people on eBay just want a lot of money. I do not recommend buying this ship unless you buy it for around 60 bucks. It's not worth it. It's missing a lot of cool stuff in it. Here is a rooster of all the pirates from the 2015 pirate sets. Two guys here from the raft three guys from the pirate ship. I took the flag from there and put the torch instead and then I united all the flags up here. Look at that. And I united all the characters. Now we have five characters in the ship. Still not good enough because it still looks empty as heck. Looks like a little battle is about to commence against the French soldiers. The little boat is right there. There's the lighthouse in the back and the pirate ship is just arriving trying to point the cannon right at their, their hull.